Hello, welcome back. We are here with the others. You know, is Mia available to talk? Yes, for you, Iron. She is. Mia, get out of the laugh. We've got important business to attend to. Um, so we're back here. I figured we should stop by and just check how everyone's favourite arsonists are doing. Don't complain about having to clean up after yourself. God, how rude. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already, which you should have if you're watching these in chronological order, like a sane person, there's a poll on episode 5. And, you know, due to the nature of how these are recorded, I don't know the outcome yet. But whatever choice you make, it will forever impact the direction of this channel. So no pressure. Uh, we really need to get jobs and our lives on track, because that's not what we have over in this house. We have, you know, flammable ruins. Mia, I just saw you hang up that phone. That's really inconsiderate. We have to make friends. Especially Holly. Holly needs a friend if she's ever going to get promoted. Go and get the mail. Don't even think about getting rid of this microwave. Goodbye. <sighs> Dear. Mia still wants to be a criminal. Good for her. That's a good ambition to have in life. It's what Eleanor used to do. Journalism. Look again. Law enforcement. Actually, take that job, because if Mia becomes a criminal, I want Lily to be a police officer living in the same house. Um, are you going to put the bills down? Pay the bills. All our money. Away. Uh, you can... That wasn't... That was your food. Go in... Don't read the paper. There's nothing useful in the paper. Oh, dear. I think we're going to split the difference in this episode, and for the second half... We will pop back to see. You love fire, don't you, Mia? You just love it. I think we will stop back to see the other family for the second half of the episode, as I was saying. Because Aisha's making a lot of moves, and I wouldn't want to miss that. But either way, get Holly. Invite household, sure, sure, sure. Bring as many people. I can't leave the house. I'm waiting for the phone repair man. You know what, Holly? This is why you don't have any friends. Don't do it, Lily. Don't make a fire. Thank you. At least someone in this house has some class. Go and have a shower. Are you ready? Oh, God. In and out. Right, well. Since Holly decided that, you know, she's too good for us. I guess it's because, you know, we don't really know Holly. We know Iron. That's not very really useful. And you know Aisha. Mia, you, you make the phone call. Maybe we can get Iron to bring Holly. Iron, bring your household. Holly, please, she needs a friend. Bring Holly. Oh, Sounds great, good. we'll be right over. Thank you, Mia. See, having friends is important. Lily's just loving life. That's not how you make friends, Lily. Look, they're here. They get out of bed, by which I mean the couch. Mia? No, no telescope. You don't need a telescope, they're right here. Oh god, zooming in. Go and greet Iron. You need to be friends with Iron, because that's his want. And you need to group Holly and make a friend, so Holly can get promoted and you can be less lonely. You don't know, you have no friends, Lily. Not even friends with Mia, and she lives in your house. She kiss everyone as greetings. This is just a weird thing. If there's one theme throughout the last couple of episodes, is that everyone wants to sleep with Iron. Both literally and figuratively. And the pillows. That is also a theme. Go and chat. Don't let her... What is it with the front door? 
Someone pointed this out on the last video we were here with them, episode 3, that no one uses the front door. And it is kind of odd. Not as odd as this, of course. So, no, no, put the pillows down. This is not how you make a... This is apparently how you make a friend. Okay, maybe I just don't know how friendship works. It's entirely possible. Introduce to Lily, maybe later. Lily is, um... Okay, introduce to Lily. Uh, Lily's not getting along well with Holly, so I think maybe you should try and make friends with Holly, and uh, Lily can have Iron. Yeah, Lily, you're pissing everyone off, we're aware. You go and talk to Iron now, and uh, Mia can work her magic on uh, Holly. Don't. Don't piss each other off, or you'll piss me off. Yes, thinking, Iron, that is him. Please. Right, good, good, good. He says, you've got to put the people who are bad at making friends to the people who are very good at making friends. Like Iron, loads of friends. Mia, loads of friends. Lily and Holly, no friends. No, no, okay. Mia, after I was so nice to you, and I can see things going on down there. Why are we in such an antisocial mood? Can't you just be nice? What? Who doesn't like music, Holly? You're nothing like the real Holly. You're mean and nasty. No, don't yell at the counters. It's not the counters' fault that you're failing. It's your fault. Make a friend. Lily, did you piss Iron off? Play catch. You know what? He seems to like things being thrown at him. Pillows, maybe. <laughs> Entertain, no. What? No, that's you. Oh, God. Talk, chat, no, don't clean the counter. Now she's walking away. Come on, Mia. Holly needs this. Can't you be not? No, oh, God. You just don't like anything, do you, Holly? You're being a real pain. Fine, fine, fine. We'll deal with Holly, you know. When we go back to the other half of the episode, because she's being a nightmare. Carpool for Lily with a vibe. Lily, are you going to bed? Did you not just see that message about your carpool? Oh, God. You blew it, Lily. You blew it. Absolutely terrible. And the guests are still here, thinking about how they don't like each other. Can we at least try one more time with... Oh, oh the phone's ringing. Go and answer that. And then we can try at least with Holly one more time. Please. Who is it? Is Lily available? No, oh, I just go to work. Go and serve dinner for the guests. Iron's sitting ever so patiently in front of the switched off television. As you do. He's just anticipating the fire that's to come. To be honest, I am as well. Uh. What do you want? Money, money, skills, and crime. Pretty much. And you all fear fire. So, uh, let's hope and pray, shall we? Not for a repeat of the last time. Oh, good. Well done. Well done, Mia. Oh, look, they sit down expectantly for us to serve them. This is why you can't have any friends. I don't really know who I'm directing that, really, all of you. This is why no one here has any friends, including me. Right, Lily. Oh, did you not own the car? Well, you know what? You have the double bed. So, actually, no, you have the job. You should have the car. Well, give me the double bed. But still, take the crappy carpool for your first day. Because it's, it's here now. It'd be rude not to. We don't even get to sit at the table with the adults. We get to sit at the, like, kids' chair and eat our pasta, like, in our hands. Whilst they have a nice chat that we're not part of. Oh, dear. What have we become as a household? Okay. Holly. She's just having a second bowl of pasta. That's normal. Very normal. Iron. Yeah, second bowl of pasta. And now there's no more pasta for Mia. Wow. Wow. 
Honestly, they're really mean to us. Why are these people our friends? Oh god, now even Iron and Holly have fallen out and they won't sit next to each other. Absolutely terrible. Lily's not here. Lily's gone to work to fight crime. And Mia's left here to dream about her future job in crime that she does not have yet. We can send emails. Maybe this is a good way to communicate between the households. Because you can't anger someone on an email. At least I don't think. I've never had an email not boost a friendship in The Sims 2. And it's pretty clear these people have no social skills. So let's try it out with Eleanor, because she also needs friends. Well, she needs love, really. And Waylon, who's having that. Waylon? Is it Waylon? Winton? It's a W name. Oh, dear God. I'll make sure I have something pop up with his real name every time. Because that's just a theme. Whenever I do something stupid, we need the uh, fact checkers to come in in the editing process. To reveal the real truth of what I am saying, Iron and Holly, with the pillows that you bring everywhere with you to hit each other with. And that's how you make friends. And this is why we have no social skills. And we're all lonely not getting promoted because we lack friends. You won't have any gold bars, Holly, if you don't make a friend. We've oh, a lost cause, these guys. Uh, talking of lost cause, uh, where's Lily? Oh, while watching the surveillance cameras, Lily spots someone enter the elevator with a computer. She's sure she's never seen them before, but isn't sure what to do. Should she call the police? Oh, confront them. Confront. Uh, Lily is forced to pay $349. Okay. Thank you, Lily. We don't even have that. We now have zero dollars. We have... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just see them fall in love? Can we have an action replay on that? Oh my god, right, we're going back to the other family. A situation has developed. Okay, we are back in the Stuart household and we are at DEFCON 1. What exact- oh god. Both of you. Oh, dearie me. This is why we should never leave these idiots to their own, you know, whims and desires. Holly, we just decided that we were going to let uh, Lauren and Iron be together because of all the history they had and the fact that we consulted with the real Lauren in the group chat you're a part of, you know, and we all decided this was for the best. Why would you do this, Holly? Why would you do this? And why do you not have chemistry with Lauren and Eleanor? You did not before. And the weird ginger lady. We don't like her, Holly. Oh no, this is Iron. Jesus Christ. I'm not, I'm not with it. I'm just a bit shaken after what you've done to this family, Holly. But talking about people who are having success in their love life, not Holly. For crying out loud, Holly and Lauren, which, you know, is just going to culminate in a big fight. And really, I sound upset, but I'm not, because that's great reality show material. Yeah, you're getting hot. And this dog is just here. Come on, you need to fall in love. You didn't need to fall in love, Holly. You're just impatient, and now you've derailed, you know, this series as a whole. Eleanor's here. Eleanor is... A fast food shift manager. That is what Eleanor is. She's still working in McDonald's. Which is probably where she's going to end up working in real life. Don't. No. No, 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 no. Aisha's on a date. She's romancing her future husband. She doesn't need to be hit in the face with a pillow. What is with these people and the pillows? Oh, dear Lord. Right. Oh, God. Now I've lost my train of thought. It's nine o'clock. Call that guy, Eleanor. 
Listen here, you and you. God, go to bed. Go to bed where you can't do anything else to destroy this family. And for you, Iron. Are you tired? Yes, go to bed. No. Oh, right. This is what we're doing. Weldon. That was his name. Go to bed. Go to bed. Where you can't harm this family any further. We are going to deal with Eleanor and Aisha, the nice ones who don't throw spanners in the works of my fabulous machine. Right, go out there, keep flirting, do it, otherwise, you know, I will cause great pain and misery to you. Where's your guy, Weldon? Lauren's arrived, dear God. You're tired? You know what? Go to bed. You don't want to know what's happening when you're at work. Holly. She wants to marry Rich. You can't marry Rich when you're marrying Iron. He has no money that isn't your money. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Holly. Honestly, terrible. You don't even like Iron as much as... Oh, actually. 44 to 47. Wait. Yeah, I'm getting confused again. How did you build up the relationship so fast? I'm never leaving you unaccompanied again. Eleanor, this guy is out here. What are you doing? In the shower? No, Eleanor. No, no, no. You can't leave people to drink on the patio. That goes for you as well, Aisha. He's slinking off into the distance. You're in a bad mood. He needs to go. Eleanor, on the other hand, is in a great mood. And the guy's now drunk, so this should go pretty well for her. Are you flirting? You're telling a joke. No, that's not what we need. Our life is a joke. God, life is a complete and total mess. Thanks to someone. You. No, not you two. You two. God. I don't know what to do about this. I might have to consult real Lauren. Which she's, she's going to be in tears. Uh, there's going to be screams. I assume everyone is in, invested in this series as much as I am. Definitely, definitely. That's definitely true. Why are you just walking up and down the stairs? Aisha, you're clearly overtired. It's time to say goodbye to Darren and go to bed. It's time for everyone to go to bed except for Eleanor. Because for some reason, Eleanor is the last bastion of hope in this family. If she only stopped hitting her... Future boyfriend with pillows on the patio. <sighs> this whole episode has been disaster and pillows. Maybe that's what I'll call the episode, disaster and pillows. It would pretty much sum it up. No, now you're all smelly. Stop, don't walk away. Keep flirting. No, that's drinking. Eleanor. You're borderline alcoholic. Have you got rid of him yet? Yes, I see. Just put it down. Just straight on the floor, Jesus Christ. Now he's in the toilet. I knew that, you know, before the end of this episode, we end up in a bathroom. One of us. We love the bathroom. So, oh God, let's just zoom in massively. No, let's go into the bathroom and flirt. Yeah. This is definitely where we're having a wedding, by the way. In the, not that bathroom, the original bathroom. If you didn't think we were going to end up hosting weddings in bathrooms, then clearly you've never watched this series before. Go on, go on. Don't yell at Aisha because she's smelly, she's asleep. Keep flirting in her bedroom while she's asleep, because that's appropriate. Right, yeah, go on, Eleanor. Why are you the only useful one? Something went really wrong. I think, you know, nice, wonderful Holly with all the friends and Eleanor, who used to cheat on people, had their minds switched like a Freaky Friday situation when we moved from season one to season two. And ever since, they've been trapped in each other's bodies, causing havoc. Well, Holly's been causing havoc. Eleanor's just trying to live a good and useful life. No, don't yell. Don't do whatever that was. Oh yes, move to flirting in Holly's bedroom while she's asleep. She definitely deserves it because of the terrible 
things she's done and the pain she's inflicted on this household. Don't turn away from me. Right. Okay. We have to have something successful in this household. We have to have some kind of first kiss. Slow dance? No. Like, I'm trying to flirt, but all Eleanor's wants are just buy. Buy a toy. Buy an electronic item. What was that one? Buy a bubble blower. Like, she's five. Oh, dear Lord. If you... Don't just yell. If you kiss this guy, I will buy you an Xbox. Oh, yeah, she liked that. No pillows. Do you want the Xbox or not? Oh, dear. oh, he's leaving. You know what? No Xbox for you then, Eleanor. You'll be going straight to bed with no supper. Absolute terrible behaviour from all of you. Collectively, as a household, terrible. All of you. A terrible day. And it's all your fault. The skunk is now at our house. Because you're all such unhygienic, stinky skunk. And he's leaving. The amount of mess on the patio was too much even for him. He's going to hang around in the front garden instead. Oh, look who's awake. Iron and Lauren. Just enough time for me to continue as things were going before. We've, we have no change in the plan because of what Holly's done. We will let this culminate by itself, really. Oh, God. You know what this means. It's going to happen in the bathroom. As it always does. As is, you know, time, God, the universe. It's all, no, Holly. God! No, don't do that. No, we, we, no, no. What about Lauren? What about Lauren? You, Iron, Holly, Lauren. What about Lauren? We had so much going there. You know, you're like best of friends. We have all this relationship. Oh, dear. <laughs> and now Lauren and I are in a best friend. It just takes the... Oh. Well, this situation has uh, thoroughly imploded. Oh, dear. Lord. Now I'm feeling bad about calling the episode something in pillows because now it's more like something in betrayal and chaos and absolute drama so what exactly has happened now they still love each other but they also hate each other they have a love-hate relationship oh and lauren what the hell was that that was not recycled oh god now they're not best friends everyone in the house is fighting like i get it if you had a like romantic thing going and the guy starts flirting with someone else and that would make you angry but then I don't get how then everyone else in the house starts, where are you going? I'm instantly suspicious of what you're planning to do, shirtless, in your nighty, respectively. Oh, play catch. Great. Great. The neighbours are going to love this. Okay, so. Relationship-wise. Ah. Ah. Minus 99. That is not good. Who's got the fancy carpool now? Is it you, Iron? Well done. You succeeded. You also really messed up this household. You messed up the household by uh, flirting with Holly. Uh, Holly, you messed up the household by flirting with Iron. Lauren, you messed, you messed up the household by being at work too much because if you'd have flirted with Iron last episode when I was trying to get you to, you were at work. This would never have happened. So you messed up the household by being too slow. Eleanor, you messed up the household by being a pain and not being able to kiss that guy. And wherever Aisha is in that shower, you messed up the household by failing to, you know, romance Darren Dreamer, the easiest guy in all of town. Because, you know, you'd rather hit him with pillows. That goes for all of you. There'll be no more failing. There'll be no more, you know, sucking at life. And there'll be no more pillows.